chaos at an important case management conference for accused murderer Sarah Boone, you know, the woman who allegedly locked her boyfriend in a suitcase and watched him die. Well, her new lawyer, her ninth lawyer, had some technical difficulties at this important hearing, and it became a comedy of errors. Let's discuss. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, a.k.a. the Florida Lawman here on True Crime MTN. We're all following the case of Sarah Boone. That's the woman who allegedly locked her boyfriend in that suitcase in a drunken game of hide-and-seek. It's not really how hide-and-seek works, but that's what she said, and... And she said to police that she went upstairs and fell asleep. And next thing she knew, her boyfriend had died. And she she didn't know what had happened. And and she's not the one who locked him in the suitcase. And yeah, well, you can't really lock yourself in a suitcase. And she recorded the whole thing. And she's a liar. And the jury will decide whether she's a murderer. She's also very difficult She's gone through eight lawyers. She's now on her ninth, and there's a well-respected lawyer in Milton, Florida, several hours away from where she lives outside of Orlando, and he decided to step up and say that he was going to represent her because he believes that everyone, especially someone facing a murder charge, deserves a lawyer. The judge said, you've had eight lawyers. You're not getting a ninth one, at least not appointed by the court. If you want a lawyer, you're going to have to pay for it yourself. And here comes the new lawyer. The new lawyer said, you don't have to pay me right away. You can pay me in installments when you have money over time, but you know, I'll, I'll be your lawyer. And, uh, you know, kudos to him. Respect to him. But this case is still going forward. The judge said, we're not delaying this any further. The judge said, you have to be ready. I don't care if you're the ninth lawyer. I don't care if you haven't seen... The pleadings until now, you haven't spoken to your client until you just met her just recently, you're going to have to come up to speed for an October 7th trial. No more delays. Now, that's controversial in itself because you don't want an appellate court to say her Sixth Amendment right to a fair trial was violated because you didn't give her new lawyer time to review and be the best lawyer he can be for her. But the judge has had enough. He's like, enough. And the judge, Michael Kranick, Also, seem to be frustrated at this important case management hearing. So this is a hearing that uh, just happened in the case. And the lawyers involved, the prosecutor was there in person. The lawyer, since uh, for her, for Sarah Boone, since he's in Milton, Florida, he's several hours away. He appeared via video, whether it was Zoom or whatever they use. It wasn't working well. (laughs) You could see the frustration in the prosecutor and the judge and the defense lawyer as things just degenerated into just a comedy of errors. Check this out. So there will not be a deposition of that doctor. Um, The other doctor, we have made attempts to try and coordinate and not gotten uh, anywhere with that. Uh, I am not even sure what he is going to do. Judge. Hang on, let Mr. W- was Mr. J finish his point, sir. I'm not sure if he's going to be testifying to battered sex. Judge! Oh! Mr. Owens, we can hear you loud and clear, sir. Judge! Yes, sir, we can hear you. Judge! Mr. Owens, I can hear you. Judge! Sir, I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Judge Crane? Yes, sir, we can hear you. I can hear you. Judge Crane? I can hear you, sir. Judge Crane? I can hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. It's like that commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Well, Apparently, the, the the judge could hear the defense lawyer, but the defense lawyer couldn't hear the judge, and he kept breaking in, and the prosecutor was like, oh, my goodness, you know, you keep interrupting me, but this is what was happening, and it's like nothing can go right in this case. And it's still headed for trial, even though this hearing went off the rails. Now, according to Court TV, while no motions were argued at the hearing, the issue of the motions themselves came up because prosecutors have accused the defense of waiting too long to file them, which still need to be heard before the trial starts. 
Included in the motions is one to suppress a two-hour recorded interrogation of Boone at the Orange County Sheriff's Office on February 25th. Boone's attorney has argued that his client's rights were violated because detectives did not properly read her Miranda warning. The warning consists of five sentences and two questions read to every person questioned by police for the interrogation to be legally and freely given. You know the Miranda warning. You see it in every TV show. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and on and on. And the very last line of this warning says, having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Well, apparently, the, the law enforcement officer did not use that last line. They stopped at the previous line, the penultimate line, which says, do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? So they said that, but they didn't say the final line, having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? You know, we'll see if the defense lawyer can get the whole thing, the, uh, the, the confession, her comments thrown out because they didn't say that last line. I don't think that's going to work. And the prosecutors are arguing, even if you have a legitimate argument there, uh, your motion is too late. It's You've waited long enough, and I know you're the ninth lawyer, but that's not our fault as a prosecutor blaming that on your client. And that's not all. The lawyer for Sarah Boone also filed a motion asking for makeup and for her hair to be styled for her trial, likening doing so to having a male inmate shave before court. Responding to the request verbally on Friday, prosecutor Will J said, as far as I know, she'd be the first person to ever have that done in the in this courthouse. Owens, that's the defense lawyer, also noted that Boone would not be wearing clothing from the public defender's office. Instead, he would be getting her clothing, mentioning that he would be getting her measurements next week. Is anything normal about this case? So all this stuff will now be heard at a hearing on Wednesday, October 2nd. But it looks like since she's not being represented by a public defender anymore, her private lawyer, who's not yet getting paid, wants to buy her clothes to make her look spiffy. Maybe he'll make her look like she did in the 80s in this video from a game show that she was on. This really is Sarah Boone as a teenager from the 80s. Check it out. The old acid wash jeans that look and everything. Your partner there, Sarah, likes to hang out at the mall. Now, what do you do while you're just hanging at the mall, Sarah? Well, check out guys and spend money. Check out the dudes and spend the cash. Your cash or like parents' cash? Mine. <laughs> yeah. Come on back, because when you come back and we come back, John and Sarah heading into the zone. They're going to try to battle Portia. Hey, she's a hot cookie. She's tough. But I I don't know if they are acid wash jeans, but they, you know, they're tucked into the shoes like we did in the 80s. And who knew that just a few decades later, she would be the suitcase killer. Oh boy, maybe if she had done better in that video game, maybe she, if she had won that competition, that could have set her off on a different path, but who knows. So here we are in the Sarah Boone case. The hearing is important on October 2nd, and then this trial is going to go. And we're going to follow it here on True Crime MTN, and we're going to show it here, and hopefully there will not be the video difficulties that they had at this hearing. My goodness. <laughs> but that's what's happening in this case. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County, aka the Florida Lawman. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We love hearing from you, even when you disagree with us. And share with a friend. Thank you for getting us over 60,000 subscribers, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, a.k.a. the Florida Lawman, here on the fastest growing true crime channel, True Crime MTN. And we'll see you next time.